In the past few years, we've seen a flurry of new 4x4s hit the market. Mercedes released a redesigned G-Wagen, Land Rover gave us the new Defender, and Ford even resurrected the Bronco. But with their big engines, leather-clad cabins, and terrain response systems, they've left us wondering if we really need all that decadence. In the olden days, you could get an off-roader that was just that. And it turns out, you still can. This, comrades, is the Lada Neva. And no, you haven't accidentally tuned into one of those classic car restoration shows. This one is brand new. That's right, more than 40 years since its debut, the iconic Russian relic is still going strong. First unveiled as the Soviet Union's answer to the Land Rover in 1977, the Neva was built to provide affordable, reliable, go-anywhere ability to even the remotest parts of Siberia and beyond. It should have no trouble here then in the undulating British countryside, but does it really make sense in the UK in 2022? Well, while the Neva has been subject to frequent fettling and updates throughout its lifespan, the current one looks just about identical to the 1970s original. The bodywork is unaltered right down to the classic circular headlights. The solid steel bumpers remain too, giving it a sense of rugged dependability. The interior is a bit closer to the 21st century, but not by much. It's here, though, where you find subtle glimmers of bourgeois Western decadence with its heated seats, electric windows, and even air conditioning in this mid-range Lux model. The dashboard is a wipe-down smorgasbord of scratchy plastic, old Renault switchgear, and metal stalks that are no doubt identical to those of the 70s original. The ergonomics are a bit skew if in places, shifting into fifth gear requires a real stretch, the pedals are tiny and the boot release handle in the back is rather odd. Altogether though, if you can do without infotainment and massage seats, it is perfectly fine and not a world away from Dacia Dusters and Suzuki Jimnies. Under the bonnet is a refreshingly modern 1.7 petrol engine producing 82 brake horsepower. No, it isn't fast, 0-62 takes 17 seconds, but it is ULEZ compliant and meets Euro 5 emission standards. It's fairly refined too, although straying much above 60 miles per hour on a motorway can get a little noisy. It's off the road then where the Neva is most at home. It's narrow and light, meaning it can fit through gaps that land cruisers and Range Rovers daren't attempt, while the impressive ground clearance, excellent approach angles and decent wading ability mean you can take it just about anywhere. Drive is permanently sent to all four wheels, and there are some chunky levers that operate the low-range gearbox and differential locks, meaning you'll do well to get it stuck. There's even a factory-fitted skid plate underneath and independent suspension all round, unlike the leaf springs you used to get on 70s Land Rovers. As a farm vehicle then, it's ideal. There's even a van version available and a long wheelbase 5 door. The big surprise though comes when you venture into town. Driving an old Defender through a city centre is akin to wearing wellies on a night out. You look out of place and you soon get uncomfortable. The Lada, though, feels right at home. The power steering is light, if a touch vague. It's as small as a hatchback, though, so it's easy to park, and the thin pillars and high driving position mean visibility is unmatched, even though the steering wheel is on the wrong side. It looks good, too, especially here in Lux trim with its metallic paint and alloy wheels.
The Lardeneva then isn't without its foibles, but its sheer ability and charisma mean they are easy to forgive. Its closest rival is the Suzuki Jimny, another small 4x4 that we're big fans of. The Neva is priced from £19,595 on the road, similar to a commercial Jimny if you finally get to the front of the never-ending waiting list. The Lada though? Well, the independent UK importer can get one on your driveway in a couple of months. So then, to answer our question, does the Neva make sense here in 2022? It seems the answer is yes.